Hi guys! I went to Ulta the other day and I was able to buy a few things that I wanted to share with you. Everything that I'm wearing on my face right now are from the products that I bought from Ulta. So the first thing that I bought is the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Foundation. This was actually recommended to me by one of the ladies that was working there and it claims to control shine with natural looking coverage and it's supposed to treat blemishes with the salicylic acid that you see in a lot of face washes. Here I'm showing you how I'm applying the foundation and as you can see it has pretty decent coverage. I would say it has medium coverage. Light to medium coverage is definitely buildable but I think if you do apply too many layers it can look you know, cakey. I really like it because it evens out my skin tone and that's what I look for in a foundation. I haven't really found my favorite drugstore foundation until I got to this. So as of right now, this is my favorite drugstore foundation and I've been using this pretty often. I wouldn't really say that it helps my pimples in any way. I don't really see any difference at all. When you apply on the foundation, it has this really minty feeling and I kind of like it. It's not bad. I mean, it doesn't burn or anything, but it does feel fresh and I can see that my, the foundation makes it, makes my skin look pretty natural. I mean, it's really glowing. It, it glows through the foundation, so it's not full coverage. The next thing that I bought is the NYX blush in the shade Mauve. It's a matte blush. It's not that pigmented as you can see, it, but it is definitely buildable. I'm wearing it on my face right now and I really like it. It's different from the usual blush colors that I often get. I usually go for the more coral colors, but this is more on the cool pink side. I also got two of their matte lipsticks in the shade Nude and Strawberry Daiquiri. Nude, as you can see that I'm applying it on, it's pretty chalky. It's more on the pink side rather than the, the red or the natural brown tone for most nude lipsticks. And I don't really like it that much. I think it looks like that Barbie pink. It's not something that I would wear every day. But I do like the Strawberry Daiquiri. It's, it's really pigmented and it goes on really well. I'm wearing it right now for this look that I'm in this video. So the next thing that I bought is the Lorac Tantalizer. It's the Duo Bronzer and Highlighter. I really like the packaging because there's a button that allows you to open this compact. I don't really like the, the mirror-like packaging on the outside because the fingerprints are easily seen. But other than that, I do like the bronzer. It's really matte, and it's pretty pigmented, and it's a really nice shade. As for the highlighter, it's not that glittery. It's shimmery, and it really gives your face that glow. It's actually my favorite powdered highlighter at the moment. And it was also on sale for only $12, so that's really good for Lorac, because most of their products are really expensive. The last thing that I bought is the Urban Decay Deluxe Eyeshadow Palette. This was on sale for only $10. I think the original price is $30. It's really nice. Here I'm swatching all the colors for you. So we have Fishnet, Honey, Ransom, Graffiti, Zero, Peace, Shag, Scratch, and Underground. The eyeshadows are your typical Urban Decay eyeshadows. They're not glittery, but they are all shimmery. There are no matte colors. Even Zero is not that matte. There are some sparkle pigments inside the eyeshadow. The last row with Shag, Scratch, and Underground are more neutral eyeshadows that could be used on an everyday basis, but everything else is really dramatic. So. This would be, I can't really imagine myself using this every day, but I would definitely use the last three colors. I wanted to talk about Fishnet in particular because it actually has this, it's supposed to be like a purple color, but it has this fluorescent um, pigment to it. It's not, I wouldn't say it's metallic because all of the colors are kind of metallic, but in, as you can see, if I swatch it, it gives off 
this blue hue almost when it's not, not just pure purple but it reflects a type of blue pigment and I think that's really cool and I am actually using it on my eyes right now well that's all the products that I have for you I know it's not much but I just want to share with you what I did buy and what I thought about them for the first time I really hope you guys enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching bye Too bad you're gonna cut me off, you're gonna cut me off.